I got a, a, a call about this from some friends and other parents in the district who had freshman girls who showed up on the first day of school with a fully intact male in the dressing room. So that's kind of how it came about. And they and they were expected to just all undress together and get dressed together. And it made these girls, from what I understand, this, I mean, a lot, not just a couple, but like all of them were incredibly uncomfortable with this because, you know, they're raised to, to, to be modest and to respect their own bodily privacy. Yeah, it was really interesting because we, we found was a lot of the girls were uncomfortable, but they were so uncomfortable and felt so expected to accept it that they weren't even talking to each other. Uh. There was one set of girls that were like cousins, known each other their whole lives, hadn't even mentioned it to each other until they got together by their parents out of school. Wow. I, I had heard of a story where a daughter had informed her mom and she was terrified that her mom was going to make a big deal out of it. And she said, I'll just, that's all right, mom. I'm just going to change in, you know, in one of the other bathrooms. I'll just go into a stall and change there. And, and the, the idea that uh, girls, young girls cannot be comfortable in, in their own school, in their own locker rooms when they're changing for gym or for athletic activities, and that they're being shamed by this young man as being bigots is, uh, is, is unconscionable to me that, that this is, it's, I mean, it seems it's an invasion of privacy, and that's how you and other parents view it. Absolutely. It's an invasion of privacy, and it's also an invasion of our parental rights to raise our children. And, you know, we've tried to make it clear the entire time that we want this discussion to be about the need for a policy. There's no policy in place at all. So we want a policy. We don't want, and we've kind of been forced to, but we don't want to have, don't want to have a discussion about this current situation. We want to have a discussion about a policy that says you use a bathroom associated with your natural gender or you use a a neutral facility if for any reason you aren't comfortable in that other facility. Right. And there currently isn't a policy, and you're hoping that the school board, because the school board hasn't made its decision yet. I know that there was the, the school board meeting that took place last week, and for the first time ever, they had to relocate it into the gymnasium. Hundreds of students have walked out because they feel as though all of this is being forced upon them. And I, I mean, are, you, are parents pretty confident that this policy is going to be ado adopted by the school board? I don't know that anybody's confident about anything right now. We have um, given them a couple of hundred people at the board meeting. We've shown them uh, the students feel strongly about it with over 200 walking out. And we've written them tons and tons of letters in support of such a policy. So not only that, the Alliance Defending Freedom has helped draft that policy mm -hmm. and has said, you know, if you adopt our policy and if you get sued as a result, we'll come in and help defend you. So we've hopefully left them with very little choice, but they're still be afraid of being sued by the other side. Yeah, and I, and I keep thinking, well, I wonder what, and you had basically laid this as a choice before the school district, what lawsuit do you want? Yeah, you know, I hate putting it that way, but do you want to stand and defend violating my child's rights and the other girls in the school, or do you want to stand and defend a position where you allow a fully intact male to use whatever facilities that he wants to? Right. And um, the reaction, uh, by the way, that I have seen, because I know the media, you know, of course, has been talking to a lot of people, uh, and this young man, too, has said that the girls, if they feel uncomfortable, that somehow it's bigotry, when, as you said, this is really, it's an, it, it's, it, it, incom it encompasses your rights as a parent. Additionally, their rights to be able to have privacy in this area. Uh, I really hope uh, that they do adopt this. And do, is there an ETA? I mean, since we spoke earlier today, I mean, have they, has there been any decision made as to when they're going to make a decision? No, all I know right now is that they have an executive session scheduled for Thursday night. Uh, I have no idea what they plan on doing in that session, but we're hopeful that that will at least be the next step right. towards the adoption right. of a policy.